distal to the hock, we have the cannon region or the metatarsal region in the rear limb. Horses walk on their third digit, so it is supported by the third metatarsal bone, this large, long bone. This bone also goes by the common name of the cannon bone. There are laterally and medially a vestigial lateral fourth metatarsal bone and medially second metatarsal bone. These also can be referred to as splint bones. Again, the fourth splint bone on the lateral side and the second splint bone on the medial side. Beyond the cannon region, we have the fetlock joint. The fetlock joints form by the third metatarsal bone and the first phalanx of the digit. This is the location of two sesamoid bones called the proximal sesamoid bones. Beyond the first phalanx, we have the second or middle phalanx. Um, the two phalanxes are referred to as the pastern. The longer first phalanx is the long pastern. The shorter second phalanx is the short pastern. The short pastern forms a joint with the coffin bone or third phalanx. Uh, this joint is sometimes referred to as the coffin joint. Note the rough surface of the third phalanx or coffin bone. This rough surface allows strong attachment with the soft, tissue, soft tissues of the hoof. Caudal to the coffin joint is a very important sesamoid bone called the navicular bone for its shape which is sort of like the hull of a boat. The flexor muscles of the digit insert on the navicular bone and on the coffin bone. These insertions help support the foot when it is bearing weight upon it so that it does not hyperextend.